day and this is Joel Joelfield from Jojo Divine Design and today I'm on set where we just did a photo shoot in our garage by the way so you can hear the cars passing by. Today I'm going to show you two of my favorite napkin folds. There are hundreds of ways you can fold a napkin for an event but these two are variations of the same fold that I like to use in my event so I hope it helps you. Okay so this fold I'm going to show you is one of my favorite folds and it's very simple you end up plain napkin it doesn't even have to be starched fold it in half and then fold it in half again so we're creating quarters so next it works to you top layer you're folding um, like rolling down up to halfway then there's another layer you tuck it on the inside to create another level and then the third layer you tuck it inside to the bottom. and this you simply back, pull one side in, pull the side, other side in, turn it over, and there we have it. And I like this design too because I like to make the labels of the bride and groom just like how I have uh, our logo and I place it onto the napkin. You can place your knife and your four into your napkin. Another quick variation of the same design is like this one here in a rectangle right format. Same thing, but instead of pulling in the corners, we fold on the sides to make it a triangular shape, um, a rectangular shape, sorry. And for this design, we have our folds going diagonal instead of straight across, and our shape is rectangular. Same thing, stick up, put your knife four. I like to use this design. It's simple. I don't have to starch my napkins before I use it, and it's easy. So I hope you enjoy, and you might try the design for some lunch or event that you have. At home.